Okay, this is related to the previous video. Let's say you are interested in clicks. You want to study how the nature of clicks in the US changed from the 50s until now. You can also do the same thing, right? You can analyze newspaper. See if there are any special columns, news reporters on high school clicks in the 50s. You have to go to microfilms back then. There are no YouTube channels in the 50s. Or sometimes people don't convert old newspapers and put that online on the website or on YouTube channels. So you have to go to microfilms if you want to study quick sometimes. If you want to focus on newspaper, old, old newspaper, clicks and bullying, if there, there were any news reported on bullying and clicks. And the same thing if you want to study bullying and clicks in the 60s, different clicks in the high school. What are the main kind of clicks in high school? I'm sure the kind of clicks change over time. Some clicks disappear and new clicks came about. No brainer, we all know that, common sense. In the 70s, the same thing, you might have to go to newspaper. Or you might find some sources on the website. People converted all these all this old, old newspapers into websites. And they have their own websites. And maybe in the 70s, you may be able to find, I'm not sure, I haven't looked. YouTube channels pertaining to clicks in the 70s or 80s. So there are many ways to study clicks. You can go to newspaper to see if there are any special columns reported on high school clicks, middle school clicks. You can go to magazines to see if people report anything on clicks. Then you analyze clicks on different magazines from different eras and you try to draw your conclusions on how the nature of clicks changed over time. That's another way to do magazines. You can also go to YouTube to see if there's anybody, any researcher or anybody legit that talks about clicks or do research about clicks and try to find out how the nature and type of clicks change over time. Or you can analyze movies, same thing, like bullying. There are many, many, many movies on clicks. Maybe they started in the 60s, I don't know, I could not find any. The earliest movie I could find was movie on click from the 70s. And when you watch these movies, if you want to do content analysis on clicks, you are interested in clicks, let's say, and you decide to do content analysis for your topic, you can watch different movies in different eras. You watch movies in the 70s. Anybody familiar with the movie Grease? In the 70s, right? That's the movie. It was taken in the 70s. It was filmed in the 70s. And what's the difference between Click and, I mean, Grease and the recent Click movies? Can you tell the difference, ladies? It's modernized. So the nature of Clicks are more modernized. Yeah. The way they do their makeup, the, the way they dress, <coughs> is more modernized. Okay? That's one important point to elaborate. What else? Greece portrayed people drop out of high school, right? That one lady, if I remember correctly. And click portrays people with part-time jobs. It's the same thing like today's click movie, movies on click. So what's the difference? You can talk about the similarities as well. People have part-time jobs. People cannot cope and drop out of high school or whatnot. You can talk about the similarities. Did they portray high school dropout differently in the two eras? I don't know. I don't recall. Or I'm not as observant. 
If you are interested, go pay attention by watching these two movies, I don't know. So when we do content analysis, we got to be very careful, very observant. And of course, the settings of the restaurants are different in the 70s and now you can talk about that. And one main observation I could find is that Greece and today's movie on high school cliques. It seems that clique movies in the 70s or even 80s, they are more homogeneous. They focus on one racial groups. Some movies focus on African Americans and just African Americans or Hispanics and just Hispanics. And some movies focus on whites and just whites. That's my observation. And nowadays, the more recent movies on high school or middle school cliques, they portray a more diverse student population in high school or middle school. That's another major distinction. Are we clear? What else? So group thing. What is group thing? You learn that in social 100, right? Most of you, all of you are social major. Group thing. It means conformity. The hint is right there. So, conformity or the concept group thing are portrayed in clip movies in the 70s. We see conformity or we call that group thing. Some textbooks call it group thing. They are portrayed in clip movies in the 70s in high school. Has the nature of conformity changed over time? If you look at high school movies in the 70s and high school movies nowadays, has the nature of conformity changed over time? I don't think it has that much. People still listen to the leader of the clip or the Queen Bee. You know, I was the Queen Bee in your class, right? I took all you ladies upstairs until we get kicked out. I was the Queen Bee. Oh, my past glories. Until I got Suzette into trouble and people complained to her. Boy, I was bad. And group dynamics. We can also compare how the group dynamics change over time by watching movies, high school movies in the 70s and high school movies nowadays. We can see how different cliques, whether they interact or not. These are what we mean by group dynamics. Whether they are the same in the 70s until now or the nature of group dynamics changed over time. We can pay close attention to the movies in different time frames and analyze the group dynamics and talk about the group dynamics in details. This is how we do content analysis, are we clear? So Olivia, you mentioned you heard about Greece. You watched it before. So do you think the group dynamics in Greece is different from the group dynamics in Mingles? Yes. Very yeah. different? Yeah. How very different? Um, I think Greece, you have to keep in mind that the Greasers are technically mm -hmm. like gangs. Uh -huh. um, and like with Mean Girls, it's just like a group of like girls who are mm -hmm. just, I don't know, who just get together and mm -hmm. are friends and stuff, but they still bash on other people. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. The Greasers were for sure still like bullies as well, as well, like, as well as the Pink Ladies. I think as like we've grown though, we realize like bullying's not cool and neither should be like portraying it in media and stuff. Very good observation, thank you. And if we watch movies on bullying focusing on boys nowadays, recently, not the 70s, do you think the group dynamics would be same or different if you compare Greece to bullying movies on adolescent men? I will not say boys. Some movies focus on adolescent men, right? Young men, young men. Do you think the group dynamics are the same or different? I haven't seen any movies on bullying focusing on boys or young men. I 
think it's a little different mm -hmm. now. Um, I think like looking at Greece, mm -hmm. like the the greasers and like the, their group, mm -hmm. it was like viewed as like mm -hmm. cool, and they were like the cool kids, but they were bullies. Um, but it was okay because they're cool, kind of. And now, um, I think we have like a little bit different view of, of bullying, and like um, it has a more negative connotation mm -hmm. in media and movies now than it did back then. Yeah, very good observation, Miranda, and thanks. Maybe partly because nowadays movies tend to portray a more diverse population, student population in schools, middle school or high school. So because of that, we tend to see a different group dynamics if we focus on click movies nowadays compared to keep click movies in the 80s or 70s or even 60s. And sometimes I am sure before the days of internet or social media or YouTube, some people have special columns in newspapers. Maybe they like to talk about bullying intellects of teachers or researchers or university students back then in the 60s, 50s. Maybe they have special columns. They like to talk about cliques and bullying. And we can also analyze newspaper. We have to dig out microfilms. Go ask help from librarians, ask his or her help to get microfilms on old, old newspaper. Because we all know that sometimes people's portrayal of the same phenomena click in this case of bullying, they can be different if they are being portrayed on different media, right? So we can also compare the same thing. In this case, clicks of bullying on different media, you will have a very rich study if you do that. Are we clear? Okay. Let's see if this